Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the baseline from Spores Track Aztec. The original baseline sounds like this. The original baseline was actually, well, from what I can tell, created by loading a synth shot into a sampler. The synth shot is in the Vengeance Minimal House Pack and is uh, shot number 155. Um, so the way I went about making it was um, I loaded it into a sampler in Ableton. Um, I cut out the low end and I, first of all I stuck the loop function on and then brought in the end marker um, so it loops um, a bit quicker. I also transposed up for semitones, this being because um, originally if you imported this uh, the shot in and played a D sharp, um, it would be playing a B. Um, but with it transposed up for semitones, if you play a D sharp, it will actually play a D sharp. Um, so next, the thing I did was um, I increased the start. This is because if it's on zero, you'll get um, you'll get clicks at the beginning of the sample, which will sound like this. But if you increase it to something like 13, you'll get this instead. Um, you'll also want to add some glide in. I've put about 200 milliseconds in. Um, that's pretty much it for the sampler. Um, I've also added in some reverb. Um, these are some settings I quickly put in. It's not a massive reverb. But it's not massively small either. It's probably like a small to medium size reverb. Um, if you're using Ableton, then you can just copy these settings. If you're using um, a, re a different reverb, then um, try and copy these sorts of settings or just play around until you get a sound that you like the sound of. Um, that's the majority of how to go about um, getting the baseline sound. Um, if you've got any questions, put a comment in the comment box or just send a message to my YouTube inbox. Thanks guys and see you in the next video.